we are in the middle of this river. If I click one further, I'll be in Zambia. If I stay here, I'm in Botswana. Hello and welcome back everybody. Welcome back to another episode of traveling the world using Google Maps uh, Street View imagery. Only. Today I have something short yet hopefully exciting for you. We are going to be talking about quadri points. As the name suggests, a quadri point has something to do with some kind of point, spot or location and the number four. In our case today, four countries meeting in, let's carefully say, sort of one place. Um, a little bit of input um, before I get to where exactly we're going to go today. Well, obviously you know already, but in case you didn't read the description or title of the video, you can be excited now. A quadri point is a point on Earth where four distinct political territories meet. Political territories. The territories can be of different types, such as national and provincial. In North America, several such place, place, places are commonly known as Four Corners. Several examples exist throughout the world that use other names. So, I think you already have an idea. I want to talk about one very, in a way, unique, specific, perhaps somewhat unknown quadri point that is very well shown on this image. It is a point in Africa where almost four, four countries meet, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe and Zambia. Why do I say almost? Well, as you can see, this border between Namibia and Botswana, this line here, should have ended a little bit um, further on the right here for it to be a perfect quadri point where you could be with, you know, two legs in in one in two countries, uh, like one leg in each country and, you know, your arms in uh, the other two uh, countries, which you anyway couldn't do because here happens to be a river, which is also no coincidence because, as you might know, borders are often, if possible, put along rivers. But anyway, we're going to be looking at this today, but I have to give you a little bit of input and I think this Wikipedia text here is perhaps a little bit too detailed, but yet a good source, as always, a decent um, foundational source. Um, some older sources claimed that a quadri point existed in Africa, claimed, where the borders of Namibia, Botswana, Zambia and Zimbabwe come together at the confluence of the Kwando, also called Chobi, and Zambezi rivers. In the absence of legal clarity, it is now widely believed that instead two separate tri-points exist about 100 to 150 meters apart. Next paragraph. The causes of this unusual border configuration lie in the scramble for Africa. By the 1880s, the British Empire and the British South Africa Company occupied much of southern Africa, including the Cape Colony, Rhodesia and Bechuana land. The German Empire also began to occupy... Mm -hmm, and so on and so forth. By the time of Rhodesia's declaration of um, independence, I am here now, independence in 1965, there were four independent sovereign states whose territorial boundaries came very close to a quadri point. The Rep Republic of South Africa to the west, the newly independent Republic of Zambia, the newly independent R Rhodesia, the British Bechuana Land Protectorate to the south. In 1970s, South Africa, which at the time occupied Namibia, informed Botswana that there was no common border between Botswana and Zambia, claiming that a quadri point existed. As a result, South Africa claimed that the Kazungula ferry, which links Botswana and Zambia at a quadri point, was illegal. Botswana firmly rejected both claims. There was a confrontation and shots were fired at the ferry. Some years later, the Rhodesian army attacked and sank the ferry, maintaining that it was serving military purposes. Ian Brownlee, who studied the case, wrote in 1979 that the possibility of a quadri point could not be definitely ruled out at that time. In August 2007, the governments of Zambia and Botswana announced a deal to construct a bridge at the site to replace the ferry. 
The existence of a short boundary of about 150 meters between Zambia and Botswana was agreed by all four states. In 2006, the 10 period, and now shown in the African Development Fund project map period. This matches the data kept uh, by the Office of the Geographer under the. However, the Anglo German Agreement of 1890 stipulates that the Talwig. Thalwick, I don't know, junction of Tachobi and Zambezi, which today falls within the demarcated limits of Zimbabwe, is the eastward limit of the Capri Strip in today's Namibia. Moreover, it was reported in 2014 that Namibia actually granted Botswana and Zambia an easement to build their bridge across what all three parties concurred was Namibian territory. The Kazungula Bridge opened for traffic in May 2021. What can we possibly take from this? Um... Well, the first thing, there is actually no quadri point, but still, kind of, at least you can stand in one spot and see four countries. Which maybe is also possible somewhere else, but maybe not. Three countries, yes, two countries, go home. But four countries, in that sense, it's still quite an astonishing area. And secondly, um, the borders are often unclear, not very well defined. We find examples uh, of that all over the world. Um, you know, even in Europe um, today, which, you know, when I grew up, I was thinking, this is the map of the world, and, you know, that's how it is, and it's not going to change, because why would it change? Because, you know, everyone has their share, everyone has their part, and it's historically grown. But, of course, uh, with Africa's history of colonization, um, there were different interests, uh, occupations, and, you know, uh, different uh, power structures, uh, at play. Now, anyway, we're going to go to this very interesting quadri point, which I think the name is still somewhat fair, and we're going to be going through the city of Kazungula. Kazungula is a small town in Zambia. At Kazungula, the territories of four countries come close to a meeting at the quadri point. It has now been agreed that the International River contained two tri points. Two tri-points because, uh, well, on one hand you have Zambia, Zimbabwe and Botswana meeting here, and you have Zambia, Namibia and Botswana meeting here. So Zambia is involved in two tri-points, such as Botswana. And so it is no wonder that Zambia and Botswana, being the two places involved in two tri-points, have agreed to build a bridge here, which kind of connects the countries that prevent a quadri point. Well, really only Botswana, isn't it? Or South Africa, for that matter, in the past. I don't know. Something like this, okay? Um, yeah. So I think, without further talking, I have talked already a lot. Please have skipped uh, already to the start of the journey by now. Um, Let's go onto the map. Now the point I'm talking about is exactly here. Here, these countries kind of meet, and we see indeed that there's a the distance of hundred, yeah, hundred fifty meters that prevents a quadri point. By the way, I know that there are quadri points like American states. But I'm not gonna go to America again, just so you know. I wanna see something else of the world, come on. So anyway, um, this is the city of Kazungula, and I would say we're gonna go somewhere here, starting our journey, going towards the bridge, driving over it, looking at the four countries, and that's it. So let's go, first thing is that our little Google car looks like a proper camper van. We also notice immediately that here in Botswana, where I believe that we are, uh, there's left traffic. We also note that one second into the map, I'm not only going the wrong way, I also got stuck. And as a consequence, yeah, I mean, would still be left traffic. Yeah. So anyway, 
Here it doesn't look like much of a unique point in the world coming up. But what I am interested in is, will there be any signs? Will there be any sort of like cobblestones on the ground that tell you four countries meet here? Will there be any tourism? Will there be any bars? What do we find there? I have no idea. Yeah, okay. So there is indeed left traffic and we are traveling backwards. Here through the outer steps of Botswana, where I believe we are. Must be. How far out did I click? Was the did I just completely underestimate the the scale? I'm like so far away. But also we have time, don't we? It's about the process as we've learned on this channel, hopefully by now. The journey is what we crave. The journey is what we love. The journey is what we need. You can go 80 miles an hour here, which I would say is fair. I think that it is fair. What language do they speak here in Botswana? Keep Kazungula clean. Well, that's English. But it might not be indicating for the language of the country. Oh, here we have the Kazungula sign. If any one of you wants to make a screenshot, I'm gonna wait quickly. Got it? All right. Then we can move on. And we see already the... It goes down. Down to the river. Okay. I believe they speak English in Botswana. Must be... Un have been under the British Empire. In that case... Although it was occupied by South Africa. But maybe this was before. Or maybe I... I'm not gonna read but you see they're building the street here which I dare say by now we have often find in sort of border areas that they are kind of well well made somehow right? because they have some sort of representative function you know it's the first image you have of that country so the country kind of makes sure it's a good one especially when it's at such a interesting geographical location, like this quadri point here. That we are approaching astonishingly quickly. As a side note, this footage is from 2012. So 12 years ago, but it looks sharp. Hey guys. No? Oh. You're all so tall. Or well, some of you. Well, actually not. Actually, none of you. Oof. Imagine that heat on that bus. Or a truck. Meine Güte. But yeah, I mean, it looks like a border in that sense that there are people lingering around waiting to be... I guess hitchhiking going to the next town left goes to Panda here and right goes to Zambia some dodgy business here in the side street but I will move on and pretend I have not seen that otherwise your usual border architecture you got a gas station you have some trucks staying there truck drivers I guess not being allowed to drive any 
further today. You know, they have a limit how long they can drive. Advertising for the Kazungula Ferry, which may not exist anymore since we have a bridge now. And as usual, an extremely s slow, extremely slow, getting forward. Now it changes. Okay, I have to jump a little bit again. And turn around and follow this beautiful new road. That looks... You know these roads where you don't know how many lanes it has? This has like one, two and a half. So is it for two or three cars next to one another? Trucks? Probably for trucks. Yeah. Some dudes resting in the shadow. Confirming to me that it must indeed be quite warm and that glass cage bus was a torture. Look, it looks like this truck is transporting this tree. Okay, yeah, but anyway, I mean... Fried Zambia, okay. So there's some interchange, economic interchange between Zambia and Botswana, it seems to me. Showers and toilets. Well equipped, I would say. Oopsie. I have to get to the other road here. To go through customs. Okay, let's go here. Nice border, I have to say. Looks much better than some of the European borders. So it's not just any point, you know, it looks well made. I just haven't seen any tourists, although... Maybe some other African tour tourists, then... It's maybe not so apparent to me as if I would see some British folks hopping out of a bus here. No entry vet office in health. No, not today. I already went to the vet office in the morning. All right, and here we are now at the border, which looks Decent, a bit like some architecture you would imagine to find in Texas or something. No? It's like white limestone sort of thing. Not white, not limestone, but you know what I mean. And now we are on the bridge, which has taken us way longer than I thought it would. I really thought I'm going to make a very short video today. I even thought, you know, it's going to be under 10 minutes. Now we're already 18 or like 17 or something. And we are not even where I wanted to go. So I don't really know. Why do we get stuck all the time? My Google Maps is broken, I think. But here we are, Zambezi River, the mighty Zambezi River. And what appears to be quite a nice looking bridge with some rail in the middle which is confusing and some kind of fire or like burning something in the background pretty nice and i'm pretty stuck again which i don't know why that is but it looks absolutely new when was it opened what what did we read 2021 or something it looks very new very new i wonder if this is one of these projects in Africa where the Chinese people just built something, some highway or some bridge. Okay, here we are now at the point, unmarked on the ground, we are in the middle of this river. If I click one further, I'll be in Zambia. If I stay here, I'm in Botswana. If I look over here, I'll be in Namibia. And if I look over here, that's Zimbabwe. 
I would say for a geographer this is as great as it gets. You can see four countries from one spot and all of them are very much within reach. And this is pretty cool. Here only at this Kasungula bridge. Where I cannot make any progress in either direction. Which is uh, a bit unfortunate. Oi. This is definitely not what I wanted. I mean, we made it to this point. How much further do you want to go, you know? I think it would be nice if we go until the end of this blue line, which ends anyway, just kind of. Just a little bit further. Or we just uh, look at it from here, you know? Let's go here. All right, guys, since I cannot move anywhere, can look at the bridge again from here. Pretty astonishing, pretty nice. It looks kind of uh, like an unusual design. I would think that without any structural knowledge, but that you can have many of these little pillars with these ropes because often we see one or two big pillars with long ropes. So here we have like, you know, 10 small ones, with 10 small ropes. A very unique design, I have to say. Big power pylon in the background, which I find pretty damn sexy, to be honest. And here they burn stuff here over in Zambia, just at the Namibian border, as you would do, you know. Don't burn things somewhere in the middle of your own country. So what do we have here? Block. Kindly keep this door closed at all time. We have Asian scribble. Please shut emergency contact number. Absolutely astonishing. Let's see if we can find... It has good reviews, this bridge. People seem to like it. Here you have an overview. I mean, we haven't really seen much police. I guess maybe the, all of these countries are just friends with one another. Maybe no police needed. Maybe this is the old ferry here. Oh, it's from 2022. Hard to say. Anyway, you can only take one trucker. Huh? And at night. Well, guys, uh, I think we have seen as much as we can see. Um, I hope it was interesting. I hope it wasn't too long. I know I was talking a lot in the beginning again, even though I didn't want to. Um, so, yes, uh, I hope to see you for the next video. I wish you a lovely day. And bye-bye.